Now, the logic is something of an old game from about the mid 2000s, but uh, being that it's about a a deadly plague bringing about the dark secrets, the dark horrifying secrets of a town, I think it fits pretty well within the the month that I've been doing so far. Uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, dialogue heavy, but certainly the mood and atmosphere is 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 more than enough to to make it wave the spookiest game that I've played yet. Start up a new game. So, it's all about trickery to you? Wherever have you come from? No, no. I detest trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, the muscular contraction is there. Means you're already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles, right here. What a silly place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers, and justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo at Hibe. Don't you go all bossy on me, clever clogs. You will act justly, but your justice will blind you and become his demise. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Step aside, both of you. Your gentle hands are used to killing, not giving life. You will inevitably do harm. As for Brainy, he has no regard for casualties at all. Neither of you knows compassion. Yes, it seems unlikely that we'll get along well. But there's only one truth. Any choice is right as long as it's willed. That's the truth of the matter. Only the heart will show you the right choice. Stop thinking about yourselves. Think of the sick. He's in pain. I can't see it yet, but I can feel it. It's not even a trap. It's a grave. Subipsum funisumus. Can't say I hold a soft spot for it. I can see that. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. I can hear it. It can be healed rather than killed. You mean you won't become a killer? But you will. Mark my word, that's exactly what will happen. But I can avoid it. No, we won't ever get along. I suggest we be on our way. The sooner the better. Off we go then? Let's go. The clock is ticking. All right, there we go. And uh, maybe for the actual video, oh, uh, I should probably turn down the volume now. Uh, and maybe for the actual video, I will um, instead put in the subtitled version of that that I created. Although the subtitles, from what I remember, are not entirely accurate because uh, it's hard to hear. <laughs> but um, I, it's fine. Look, you get the gist of it, right? Anyway, three playable characters. The Bachelor, who I'm going to be playing as today. History of humanity with a number of catastrophes that have demonstrated without a doubt the, pan the pettiness of human achievement and the triumph of the invincible evil. See, now this already sounds like me, right? Outbreaks of infectious diseases that have from time to time wiped out towns and cities off the map are undoubtedly among these. However smart and virtuous, the people caught up in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that there's no use trying to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite the bullet and cope with your losses. This is the story of a person who managed to work a miracle and defeat a seemingly unvanquishable foe. Come on, that is definitely me. That is definitely me, right? Bachelor of Medicine. 
And there's higher specs, who cares? And the changeling, I can't even play as. I did, gotta, like, beat one of the scenarios first. So! Daniel let's go. Jankowski, a bachelor of medicine, was brought Should dub this so we can understand more? I'm going to! Unfortunate. Dankowski's life work, his theory challenging the existing Crank notions of human mortality, is being harshly persecuted by the powers that be. Suddenly, a letter arrives from a colleague suggesting that there is previous undiscovered evidence which may support Dankowski's claims. There is a settlement, the letter says, ruled by an extraordinary man who may well be seen as objective proof of Dankowski's daring hypothesis. Grasping at straws of hope, Dankowski decides to follow what he believes to be the sign of divine providence. Without further ado, he sets off for the settlement. Late at night, Bachelor arrives in the town. As he seeks room and board, he gets to know a girl called Eva Yan and stays at her place till dawn. All right. Y'all ready to get this? And also, once again, crank it back down. <laughs> Y'all ready to get this? Defeating an invincible foe? Solving the mysteries of uh, death itself, basically, is what we're doing. All we got to do is just... I think that's still a little bit loud. <laughs> Early 2000 games. No subtitles. Um, inconsistent volume mixing. Also, oh boy, character models. I hope you like the... Like, even kind of questionably good for 2000... Uh, what is it, 4 that came, this came out? And this is like the HD version of the game. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Crank the volume all the way up. I don't want to explode your ear balls here. Number of characters that we will be meeting very shortly. Remember what they all look like because we're going to... We're gonna be gonna be getting very well acquainted with them over the course of this. Not with uh, not with Mr. Dankowski himself. He is this is this is the first person game. They look worse in game. Yep, they do. So let's talk about the basics of Pathologic. So as of today, my mission remains obscure. The examination of Simon Kane, who is rumored to be a man of incredible longevity, may shake the very foundation of modern thanatology and challenge the exi exis existent notions of death itself. However, even if this undying leviathan proves to be more than a fairy tale, the mere confirmation of his existence won't suffice to pr prevent the powers that be from shutting my laboratory down. I need to figure out a most fruitful approach. Simon is well-respected, man, and if he mistakes my interest for effrontery, it'd be not impossible to convince him to help me with uh, break new ground in the field of human vitality. All right, invincible man. Truly unvanquishable foe. So we've, so I've heard. I mean, it's I'm going up against death. That's kind of what you you expect here. All right, like I said, uh, first-person game. I got a light. In case I need to see dark stuff. Not really all that big of a deal. Got a whole lot of parameters that I need to be paying attention to. Yeah, this is one of those games where if you don't eat, if you don't drink, if you don't sleep, you just kind of keel over. It's pretty great. I love it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan. <laughs> also, like, combat? This is not the sort of game where you want to get into combat. I mean, it's a horror game. You know how that goes. It's cool. It's totally cool. Trust me. And then, I mean, aside from that, it's like, uh, yeah, we got missions. Today's quest doesn't really have too much of anything, but... It'll be filled out as I do more. Uh, many, many letters. Isidore Barak's message right now. Uh, basically the guy who told us to come here and check out Simon Kane in the first place. Uh, let's see what he has to say. My dear Bachelor Dankowski, it is with most disconcert it is most disconcerting to learn that the powers of be that have the intention of shutting down the laboratory that owes its fame largely to your own research in the field of thanatology. Is it true that your detractors have branded your studies scientifically stillborn? That's, that's a bit excessive. I feel like uh, I really don't need to get... <laughs> that, that, 
that's somewhat insulting. I mean, come on, I'm trying to create, I'm trying to make people immortal. I feel like that's a laudable effort, even if it's maybe uh, reaching for the stars. Rejoice, Bachelor, for there is an observable case that will quell the obscurance that reject the research of death, aging, and necrosis as a subject that lacks academic vi viability. This case, were you to document it, would go a long way towards restoring your reputation as a scholar. Subject in question is Simon Kane, who has ruled the town where, where I live for as long as I remember. The man's longevity transcends the boundaries of what is possible. It is phenomenal, no less, and I struggle to give an explanation of what scientific means I have at my disposal. Make no delay, there is a sensational discovery to be made here. A breakthrough that will not only save your laboratory, but also revivify hmm, your studies and greatly increase your scientific renown. Your humble servant and faithful colleague, Isidore Brock. P.S. I spoke to Simon on your behalf, and he has agreed to facilitate your effort. Daring ideas and far-fetched projects are traditionally very well respected in this neck of the woods. And there we go. So yeah, that's basically the entire thing. Uh, of course, when we actually start getting into the whole, like, uh, plague portion, there's this. <laughs> I don't... I have not even gotten into a point where this is useful yet. I don't know what it is, but we're going to, uh... We're going to figure out eventually probably not in this episode at least given what i've seen of the game so far also stuff like you know if you want to get into the actual scientificiness of the game and look at stuff under microscopes that's cool but uh like i said i haven't even gotten to that point as of just yet so aside from that we got inventory weapon a scalpel sure clothes gotta equip up some gloves <laughs> why not Drugs? I can just take a whole bunch of drugs right now if I feel like it. I don't, nor do I have any reason to, but I could. Bottle of water is ration. I mean, it's useful. It lowers your hunger, increases your exhaustion. I'm not going to be drinking that right now. I don't really need to. And uh, for the lamp. So yeah, I mean, if you actually want to then uh, fight people, which I don't. Not yet. <laughs> and uh had my hands out at any point in time. And, ah, look at that cool combat. I'm so ready for it. If I put away the scalpel, I also have uh, fisticuffs. And if anybody decides to start talking sass, of which they will. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Okay, anyway. I guess I'll keep it equipped up for right now. But uh, not really too much point. I don't think there's anything in any one of these things. Uh, I can sleep here. But I might as well check around anyway. You know, kind of get like a good idea of the quaint little uh, town out in the neck of the woods that we found ourselves in. With immortal men. <laughs> I mean, I do believe that he was a man of improper longevity. Which is, uh, uh, I love the way they put that. Well, anyway. I don't even think I can leave right now. No. Let's go talk to the master of the household and uh, gawk at their incredibly anime drawings. If this character turned around, I do think that you would find they would look exactly like an anime. Now, I'm pretty sure this is taking place in like the late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, but I, that does anime transcends time and space and logic. And of course, you're the one that would have that, right? Do you have anything in here? No, of course I can't look in there. What? Anyway, um... I had a feeling you would come. Did the sounds from outside wake you up too? There was a terrible groan, and then something snapped loudly. Uh, I don't hear anything. I just started the game. I didn't even get a chance to figure out what was going on. I think there are strangers in the backyard, by the pond. They're unlikely to be planning mischief, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm afraid to go out to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. Well, I'm no longer sleeping. I can go check it out. Why do you think they aren't planning anything foul? Our population is so thin. Crime is basically non-existent. That's a lie. This is this is some painted world of Aramis levels of our inhabitants peaceful and kind. <laughs> but we will see that soon enough. Especially here in the stone yard. Sometimes there are pranks, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's what I call them. Uh, fights happen occasionally. People are young here, so they often go out at night. But we're a tight community. And now I hear unfamiliar speech. That is not a good sound. I'll go out and take a look, but I'm in a hurry. I must see this founding father of yours. 
Are you willing to trade the company of a fascinating woman? Yes. For that of a dreadful old man, even if he is a sorcerer? That's so sad. But Simon won't go anywhere. He is. He has always been. He always will be, even if the moon were to fall to the ground. Please, stay with me a little longer. No, this is not the time. Also, did you say he was a sorcerer? Look, I'm a man of science. I don't believe in... In, 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 in magic and mysticism. You can try and convince me as much as you want, but uh, many more uh, people have tried than you and failed. But, uh, waiting for me? I didn't notify Barack of my arrival. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not, I don't care about that. I want to hear about the sorcerer man who's got sorcerer. Peaceful and kind to Priscilla specifically. She didn't lie. Oh, whatever. That's not... The, the inhabitants of this village are... That's not... Uh, are you in that much of a hurry? Do come around. The canes are asleep now. Take your knockabout coat off. Have a rest in my bed. Let me warm your hands. You're so anxious to see Simon. As though your life depended on it. My life, yes! Now that my laboratory is on the brink of destruction, my whole life's pursuit depends on that remarkable man. If he has really managed to live this long, then his tissues will help me defeat death. Don't you get that, Ava? Defeat death! <laughs> death. So that's the enemy you've chosen for yourself. Isn't it hard? I don't think anyone has managed to defeat that evil just yet. No, my enemy is inevitability. I'm challenging the forces of nature. I don't understand. I'm going to beat death. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Karen in a noogie and and make him stop fa ferrying the souls to the underworld. Through science. <laughs> and smarts. I can barely understand it myself. Could death only seem inevitable to us, but in reality it's nothing more than the whim or the will that had shaped this world? That is the question. So where is the key to my victory? Where is he? Tell me. It's not that far, Canes of the Crucible on Bridge Square. Could I offer you a piece of advice? Mm, goon. Simon has two younger brothers, the eldest of the two. Jo Georgie? Georgie? Eh. Uh, he's called Judge by the locals. Sure. All right. Uh, visit him first if he isn't asleep. Uh, or he isn't asleep. He'll teach you how to speak with Simon. The youngest of the three is Victor. His daughter Maria also wanted to see you. It's probably important. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Daniel Dan Dankowski is quite the ladies' man, even if nobody actually knew of his arrival. Was it she who knew about my arrival beforehand? Yes, she told me about it privately. Talk to her is no simple task. Maria is that kind of person. She puts on airs, but that's just how the canes are. It was Maria who told me she would help you defeat death. That's the precise wording. What a coincidence. Well, I mean, I do run an institute that's all about doing that, so... Literally anything that anybody helps me do here is going to be helping me defeat death. Alright. Go and I'll prepare everything for your turn. Do come back after you speak to the Canes. They'll probably do a lot of things that will puzzle you and put you on guard. They're sorcerers, so I bet. <laughs> I'll have some advice that may be of help to you, if you need it. I mean, no, I'm not gonna. No, 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 don't, don't, don't get too, don't get too hasty here, uh, Dankowski. I'll, I'll, I'll come back, sure. And here's where we're going. There's where Simon is, a man, yeah, a man of improper longevity. I love that. I love that phrasing. It's very good. Oh boy. And here is the entirety of the town, by the way. Let's actually take a look at it right now, just because uh, we do have a map to check out. So yeah, in that opening, um, if you were wondering what they were talking about, uh, this town apparently is like a living thing. The avatar here it looks like a gigantic heart. <laughs> At least that's the way that I would interpret those uh, those bits in the in the opening there. Uh, I don't know. We're <laughs> we'll learning about that a little bit later on, and then the other very notable landmark around here is the polyhedron, kind of a. I, as far, okay, as far as I've seen in the game, it's just kind of like a gigantic piece of modern art looming over the town ominously, but it's not its not threatening or anything. It's just weird. Really, the giant heart, I think, is a lot more uh, frightening, if anything else. And then there's like the train station here. Um, I'm right down here right now. I'm going to be going over to the Canes just right around the corner, uh, right next to the Polyhedron, but we're not going to be going there cathedrals, town theaters, and just a lot of other little areas marked off on the map that you can go and check out if you really feel like it. Which we will. I mean, this is that sort of game. Home to Big Vlad. 
And then also, like, there's these symbols on the map. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> They're just here, though. And then uh, tan buildings, I believe, are shops, if I'm not wrong. So that's going to be something to remember as you kind of get into the game a little bit more. But for right now, obviously, we only have one mission. We're going to go check that out. You can also press this and see this thing. I don't know. I don't know what this means. It's, um... This is a thing, though. I think it represents the three main characters. I got no idea. <laughs> I haven't gotten to that point in the game yet. Well, anyway, uh, I ain't got anything else to say real quick. Sometimes differ more widely from ourselves than we do from others. Uh, I'll take a look when I get... I'll just take a look at... I'll, I'll take a look when I go outside. We'll talk about um, other things happening here. The unusual oddities that plague this town. Like a literal plague later on. By the way, here's your tutorial characters. They tell me about the world and how to interact with it. I, now the dialogue that you get with them is fun, but oh, let's let's get on with the game. I'll kind of explain it as we're going on here. Yeah, I know. Look at this guy. He's the executor. That's no, an executor. But um, yeah, they're just here to tell me about the world as it exists. It's not really. They're, they're like literally not here. They don't exist outside of being. They're non-existent characters. They just tell you tutorial stuff. Yeah, that's just a Tonberry. <laughs> Why is there just a Tonberry here? I guess that's who Ava was talking about, though. No? Let's go say hi. Hey, you guys causing Miss Yawn some ire? Doesn't even get a proper avatar. It's like, ugh. The game thinks so little of you, factory worker. I'm sorry. Hey, what's this creature? <laughs> no dong, duh. That's what you call them cattle breed. That's what all them cattle breeders look like. Crude and unshapely and unfinished. Don't you know? Where we came from? An intruder, huh? I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a visitor. I'm here. Saying hi. What's going on? Go back to squatting. The worm feels sick, head packed, blood boiling, belly freezing. Let the worm warm up. Let him take a rest. Don't touch us. We're dangerous. Now, I do know if I say get lost, I'm even more dangerous. Uh, he and the factory worker will immediately attack me. So, uh, let's go with, whoa, that's some stench, you animal. How on earth do you even live like that? It's kind of cute. Aside from the fact they're supposed to smell a lot. Eh. <laughs> like I said, I'm not I'm not itching to get into a fight here. I'm a man of medicine. I'm a man of science. I am not a man who is just going to go uh, punch any weird Final Fantasy monsters that I see around here. That's absurd. And it's not what's going to happen. That is a nice skybox. It's true. It changes because, you know, uh, this is this is one of those games that does work on a day-night cycle and everything. It's all this sort of stuff that these characters would, would uh, tell me about. Which, ah, fine, let's at least, like, give them a talk here. <laughs> You're going to have to teach me, figuring your manners. Time and place, not essential, it's just how it is. Actor must be prepared before he goes on stage. Are you seeing the theme of the game? <laughs> Stumble down upon the prompt box. Yes, <laughs> that's what you call this right now. Yeah, so what do you want to tell me? Time flies by, days and nights. Uh, you have a certain amount of time to do things, and if you screw that up, you might just die. <laughs> and you probably will just die. That's just how it'd be. Some characters are important, some aren't. There are NPCs that are just kind of generic. There are NPCs that are more uh, useful, etc., and so on. And I do have a reputation meter. Don't kill, lie, betray. Don't be an asshole, which is maybe the easiest thing to do as of right now. <laughs> That's how it goes. Hey, can you tell me who Simon Kane is? He's not reside. He lives or rather exists. 
sure. Well, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just basic tutorial stuff, like I said. It is it is a quaint town. It's nice. They got a lot of very strange iron working around here. It's just you know. It gives that whole ominous vibe. Also, man, I do love the the fall aesthetics of this game. It's very nice and also very fitting for the time that it currently is. This is supposed to be taking place in September, and time to uh, start dumpster diving. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Give me as many empty bottles that you possibly can. So insult them or threaten them. The, ma the, the bachelor is mean. What? He's a perfectly respectable man of science. If these if these yokels in in the outskirts of, of of the country don't understand that, it's like, well, that's just that's just how it goes. You know. Does it take place between 20th and 27th of September? I mean, I think it says somewhere here. I don't remember. Somebody says it at some point in time, but uh I don't know. It's not that big of a deal either way, but that does kind of give you a sort of like time and place. That's the cathedral, by the way. You can also see it in the background of the uh, of the theatrical beginning to the game. Because uh, those like weird struts on the side that make it look like it's a giant spider are kind of unmistakable. Hey, what's in the trash? Uh, I am a real doctor, by the way. I have gone to doctor school. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly a look. Well, anyway. Oh, and there's the polyhedron in the background, if you're wondering what the kind of, like, scale of that monstrosity is. Let's actually go take a look at it real quick, because it is, it is, we, we are on a time limit, it's true, it's true, but it's like, it's like 7 a.m., we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, and I, yeah, I actually do have, like, some decent protection against infection now, putting on those gloves. Huh. Not all that big of a deal, though, really. Yep. I do not understand what this thing is. <laughs> I mean, it's the polyhedron. And it does have, like, it does come up in the story, yeah, but... Like, it's literally this gigantic sculpture that just has schematics of itself on it. I can I can go up it, but there's no real reason to right now. It's just weird. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, let's also you know just like one second before we really get into it. By the way, is there anything in this trash can? I mean, I could really use more stuff. I'm just saying. Uh, okay. It's like let's also check out the inside of the cathedral really quick because I do very much like the inside of the cathedral. Like, damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> also, I can fill up the uh, that bottle that I got here. Get some of that sweet, sweet water. So, as you know, the uh, the the usual way that the clergy works is that they will uh, jump up on their iron and marble throne and preach to the onlooking people. <laughs> I mean, it. Um, and this is a place where sorcerers reside. It shouldn't be any surprise, if you ask me. Also, you know, considering it's right next to that thing, it's not that unusual. I, it, let's get on with the game here. It's like a real church. These some meaty flowers. No, really, it looks like I could just, like, pluck them off and eat them like an apple. Anyway. Hey, can I rifle through your stuff? No? Okay. I mean, I'm just saying that it's like, if you... If you wanted to give me... Look, look, I, looking at your fireplace right now, you have... You're perfectly well off. You can give me some of your junk. Oh, look, and there's a tinier version of that model of the, the plant that I saw earlier. It's an interesting way to do flower textures. I think it's more supposed to be the, like this level of modeling size. But yeah. Anyway, um, yo, what's up? I'm too old. Nothing can Most venerable me. doctor, it is with great impatience that we have been expecting you. 
You need not delve into the minutiae of your business, since our family is well acquainted with your scholarly work. We are also quite aware of the difficulties you are experiencing, and well prepared to do our utmost to support you. Okay, great. Sounds good. Anyway, hey, where's Simon? Oh wait, uh, there's more here. Uh, it hurts me all the more to be the one to inform you that Simon, my consanguineous, it's my consanguineous, I, I guess, cold-blooded brother, the creator, keeper of all the embodiment that sits around us, has been murdered. What? Who could have seen that coming? Judge, what the hell? I, I damn it! Why did I have them to have him just before I arrived? Like this, this was supposed to be just a nice little. Trip out to the country, figure out the secrets to immortality, and then I'll go back and become the most famous person ever in the history of mankind. Precisely. Why did it have to happen just before your arrival? Are you, aren't you? are you asking yourself the same question? I hope you don't see any connection between my arrival and the murder. I mean, unless I did it while I was sleeping, I don't really think that... In fact, I do see a connection, but do not mistake it for, for a thought that it was you who murdered him. Well... Okay. <laughs> hmm, Isidore has done more than he thinks. I have a lingering feeling that time itself is using uncontestable powers to further its own intentions. What do you think? I... I no? Like, I don't think it's anybody's fate to be murdered. <laughs> it could be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot escape the feeling that your arrival was no coincidence. Your choice was made for you, my dear doctor. Let us not blame fate for it. Isidore wrote to you without making us aware. He took a risk that could have displeased our family. Well, <laughs> we wouldn't want George to be displeased. Why do you speak for the word fate with such disgust? I mean, I'm no fatalist, but what do you mean? Oh, that's why you called it time earlier. Well, so Simon wasn't aware that I would come. No, he definitely was. Even though we were uncertain of when you would arrive, my brother was looking forward to meeting you. The tragedy may have been a consequence of the actions he took in preparation for your arrival. Someone has taken a powerful piece from the chessboard, a piece upon your, which your position here depended. It is doubly regrettable that Simon was playing on your side. So you presume the queen knew of the blow and sacrificed herself for the pawn? Why? <laughs> to grant you victory over death. Then he was such a, such a drama queen. Anyway... Uh, was it not your ultimate aspiration to help you? Simon seems to have played a very dangerous game with fate itself. That's right. The title drop of the, It's called Pathologic. Uh, he went out of his way to provide you with a body of evidence. Is it his body? Time to loot Simon's house? I can't. We'll get to that soon enough. Well, if that is indeed so, I... Well, what did he do? It is of no importance to me what exactly he did. Great. Thanks. <laughs> he took another leap for the stars and paid a terrible price for it. I repeat, he was Murdered! Murdered! The subject of importance here is the identity of the murderer. Everything has gone to rack and ruin. I wish I could take vengeance upon the person who ripped the life from this man. Do you want to help us, Doctor? Find the murderer for us. My brother Victor, who is in the wing next door, would share some of his thoughts on the matters. Help us, and the reward will not disappoint. What's, what's going to be the reward that's better than defeating death itself? <laughs> Fighting an inevitability. Great. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Ah... <sighs> I mean, I can just say no. Like, I can actually just say no. I'm not going to help you. Nah, fuck this. I'm getting on the next train out of here. <laughs> this is not a... This is not something... I, I'm, not, I'm not a detective. I'm a scientist. However, indeed, there are way too many coincidences. Your brother's murder may as well be called the murder of Bachelor Dunkowski. I will help in every way I can. Fine. May as well be called that. I'm convinced that if there's anyone that can help us solve this puzzle, then it is you. Why? <laughs> this mission calls for somebody as astute and inventive as yourself. Please don't flatter me. If Isidore was an instrument of fate, then Simon's murder is a message that fate intended you f for you personally. Do not think I am inclined to blame you for that. I am not. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it would have been strange, but like, I'm, not, well, I'm, no, I'm no fatalist. Come on. How do you plan to look for the murder? We'll take our own measures. The only thing I expect from you is to be yourself. Okay, done. Easy. <laughs> do only what you think is required. Whatever you find out, whatever you do, whatever your day turns into, everything is a clue to the solution of this puzzle. I repeat, everything that is happening here is happening on your account. Great. Well, fine. Fine. What? Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. 
All right. Well, Simon's been murdered. <laughs> That's not good. Yo, you got anything else to say before I'm going? It's death at the hand of Simon's murderer. Well, uh, one more thing. I'd like to examine your brother's body. Yeah. Except for Isidore Barak's most accomplished apprentice. His name is Stanislav Rubin. Rubin? Rubin? Yeah. Quite a resolute and talented man this Rubin is. I have great expectations of him. He'll bring everything you need and you will examine the body together. Well, well, let me know when he arrives then, I suppose. Well, actually, why didn't you send for Isidore? I'm serious. Oh. He wasn't home. In fact, he was nowhere to be found. He's disappeared. Oh, boy. <laughs> I would suspect foul play, but Barack is not is known to disappear in such a manner. Sometimes he's gone for several days, sometimes for several weeks. Rumor has he explores the step, going as far as the herdsman landing by the Yergal Rise. <laughs> I'd like to still take a look at your brother. I mean, a long journey for this. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, so much for being immortal. I'm genuinely sorry, Doctor, but our family traditions were cherished for as long as the family has existed. One of such tradition, one of such traditions requests the dead be left alone for 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, bodies don't have to be seen or touched by anybody. This period of deferral will be over by tomorrow. Oh, I, I'm afraid I must insist. <laughs> I must have agreed to break the tradition. I might have agreed to break the tradition, which is as sacred to us as it is meaningful and reasonable. I suppose, but these are kind of. Uh, Unusual circumstances, but I'm entirely convinced that there is no valuable information for at all for you to derive from the examination of the body. I'm sorry, but no exception can be made here. Not even for you. Like, does it have a practical justification? On several occasions, excessive haste has led to undesirable circumstances. Really, you just don't want to jump into it? Because I kind of want to jump into it. The phenomenon that Isidore has invited you to study it is in our blood, a physiological trait that shows itself from time to time. Well, are any, are any other of you immortal? I guess you wouldn't really know now, would you? Nah, whatever. The examination of the body will not help you in any way. The puzzle has to be solved within your mind. Create <laughs> Just place together a jigsaw puzzle in your mind. That's like a video game thing, right? I'm not able to or even allowed to tell you any more than that. Yeah, I bet. Believe me, I'm not trying to conceal any evidence from you. Yeah, I bet. The body has been kept in the ice house. It is intact, but the focus may not be breached. All right. I guess I'll wait. Whatever. That's that's fine. Old. Nothing can harm me anymore. Um, yeah, so which locals could help me? I don't know for how long you will have to remain here, Doctor. Uh, you are most welcome to be my guest, even though I won't try to keep you. While you are here, though, and especially since you are trying to find out the truth, it is my duty to offer you a piece of advice. Up to everybody else has so far. What do you got? This remote place has a history of its own. There's not enough time to retell it to you, which is unfortunate, since the background of this town may possibly justify some local conventions. It's a video game, I understand. <laughs> what traces did history leave in your society? Well, there are three truths that rule this town. Three origins, three ideas, if you like. For several generations, these three powers have been in conflict with each other. I suspect none of them can exist without the other two. Yet each of them still strives to dominate. Each one of them has their own voice, too. Ah, uh, tell me more? What are you talking about? <laughs> these voices are the ruling families, the co-owners of the Bull Project. The Abattoir, I assume who have been ruling the town for almost two centuries. Each one of the truths we represent is screaming at the top of its lungs, and in doing so, travesties whatever value it carries. That's too complicated. What does that do with your brother murder? <laughs> the first voice is, uh, yeah, just ignore me, I suppose. I uh, don't, d d whatever. The first voice is Savras. Seven is the old Gimskis. Third one is us, the Canes. We are the three heads of the beast. <laughs> okay. Sure. The notable characters in the town that I'm going to be talking to. And we're probably going to want to talk to both of these uh, other characters. Well, both of these other families soon enough, too. Each of their clans will offer their own understanding of what exactly is going on. Each of the three will use their own voice and the voices of their followers to lie and distort the truth. We cannot exist otherwise. Lie as easily as you breathe. However, in doing so, we will inadvertently reveal the entirety of the truth to anyone who would listen. Ah, oh, do not worry. I only trust proven facts. A man of science and also of digging through trash. Words carry no weight for me. 
I suggest you believe no one. Perhaps I am the only one of the three rules, r rulers that would ask you to disregard his very words. If nothing else, I hope that it will win me your favor. At least I am offering you honest advice. You should never trust any of us completely, neither the Canes, Olgimskis, or Seraphs. Well, it does inspire trust. Furthermore, each of us will try to paint a rather ungainly picture of the other two. Most likely, we will fill you in on the negative sides of each of the faction and withhold anything that is good about them. That is inevitable. Like the death that you are so fighting. Uh, none of us will stoop to outright slander, so everything will be said and will most likely be true. But this truth will be one-sided and incomplete. Listen carefully to what we have to say and take that into account. Well, your words are a pleasant surprise, Judge. The stories of the evil that the Canes have unleashed into the world are partially true. Do not feel ob obligated to act in our favor. As you can see, I will stop at nothing to ensure an unbiased investigation. The lack of prejudice I want to instill in you is the one and only reason I am making a confession like this. I do not want my brother to have died in vain. I'll tell you, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. I'll trust you to an extent. To an extent. Hey, you got anything in here? Because I also want to, like, um, totally ransack your house here while I possibly can. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, Brock made a cameo. I, look, let's be honest here. These are, uh, I think, Russian names. Icebeck Lodge, I believe, is Russian. So, I don't know. I'm, try I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Please give me some... Um, give me some let right now. Murder him while he least expects it. Well, I mean, I can. Like, do you think it takes anything to just take out the scalpel, man? I press tab. And then I get, I also get like a little reticle so that I can scalpel so much better. I could kill him right now. I could kill him right now and probably die for my efforts because come on, he is, he is the root. He is one of the three ruling, he is the head, at least now that Simon is dead, of one of the three ruling families of the town. Of which the other three are, I believe, right here. Yeah, the Sabrov and uh, the Olgimskis are right down here. They're not the only notable characters in town, but those are the two places if I want to go talk to any of the other uh, ruling families, I suppose you could call them. That's at least what I'm going to call them. The voices, I suppose, is what the game actually said that, but you know. Huh. I don't get it. Nah, that's art for you, though. Damn, still nothing to look at. Victor, my man! Your um father or grandfather or whatever has just died? Perhaps so Yo, what's up with that? A trap for this newly arrived yeah, my pleasure. I foresee things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. That's the point. It's spooky month here. Come on. <laughs> That's the entire reason why we're doing this. If I'm not feeling uncomfortable and disturbed by the end of this, then you've done something wrong. Uh, I would like to compensate for that impression. You know, our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. Oh, don't even worry about it. I, it's a small town way out in the country. I understand. The true way to be deceived is to so, George has told me everything, which is to say he's told me very little. Yeah, he's told me a decent amount, but it was enough to astound me. He maintains that he can provide you with more detailed account. Okay, well, what do you got? So, you have agreed to help us. I mean, I didn't have to, but I did. May I ask why? It's a video game. <laughs> uh, I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. Well, when was Simon last seen? He sent his door home, and an hour later he came to the hall to see us. He announced his plans to withdraw to the Focus and receive no one. He told us not to approach the Focus and to fast for a week, partaking in neither meat nor water. Then the morning he was found dead. Uh, well, I mean, all these are actually very germane questions. Could he have been poisoned? No, he hadn't eaten or drunk anything for several days, and prior to that, he only drunk wine from the old household stock. He would open the bottles himself. Hmm. Those are quite some precautions. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, I never thought about it, indeed, um, but were they precautions at all? He was always conducting experiments on himself, not only on his body, but on time, language, way of thinking, even his fate. I, th there's a, I don't, mm, eh, eh, well, mm, <laughs> I don't know. 
This game is as spooky as an Aaron Sorkin show. Shut up. <laughs> so this could have been suicide, you say? Yeah, could his death have become been one of the outcomes of such experiments? I think between me and you, this is precisely what my brother Georgie fears. I can say nothing more about that. Well, how was his body discovered? Servants discovered him in the morning. The room had been ransacked. Everything that was breakable had been broken. His disfigured, contorted body bore signs. Yeah, okay, I think that uh, maybe that's a little bit more proof against the idea of poisoning than what I said earlier, or, or what you even said earlier. His neck was twisted, spine broken, I think. No one is such a body. is currently inside the focus and will remain there for the prescribed amount of time. Well, what is, the, what is this focus? Hard to explain. It's a study, if you will. An extraordinary, spacious, l creative laboratory. Almost perfectly sealed off, except for the door that was visible at all times, metaphorically speaking. I do not understand. It's like an equation or a mirror puzzle. You know. Like one of those mirror puzzles. Anyway, the murderer could not have been hiding there. Take my word for it. Well, Simon got in. He could perform more, far more impressive feats. There's a reason why the whole town reveres. I mean, revered him. <laughs> Tell me honestly, did Simon exist at all? No, he, he clearly existed. I think. Well, how can I help you? Just take a look around, trust your intuition, do whatever you like, speak to whoever you need. You feel the need to. Look for the murderer, doctor, and you'll find them. Keep looking till the last breath. I'm sure your rational thinking will help you. Well, that's super helpful, Victor. Really, really, really glad to hear that. So, Isidore is the only lead. How can I find him? I'll show you, but you must be careful. Simon's murderer, whoever they are, could not be an ordinary person. I can't imagine them even being a person. I fear it could be fate wearing the guise of a mysterious monster. All right, well. See, that's spooky. We're looking for a monster. Maybe a metaphorical monster, maybe a literal monster. Maybe it's a monster of rock. You don't know. I certainly don't know. Because this game is kind of hard to make progress in. Anyway. And now, um, finally, there is one more house here of the venerable canes to check out. By the way, you might notice that I am uh, pretty much constantly in the upper left corner just collecting money off the ground. Oh, uh, that, that, that's a thing. That's a thing in this game. <laughs> I mean... Certainly, I can use cashola for stuff. I got a hundred and fourteen forty-seven monies, <laughs> so like it's good, but you know, nah, whatever. Yeah, maybe they're paying a regular stipend. That's that's might be what that is. <laughs> that's my per diem, except it's more like per uh every couple minutes. Yeah, he's got little feet pockets, like um. Like a, a snake, a solid snake in, in the Metal Gear Solid series. And that appears to be the polyhedron, which, man, even larger in that picture, by the way. A few swords, but they're like wooden swords, so not really going to be too useful for me, which is why I still have my good old scalpel. You, hmm, you. At any point in time, I'm going to start going nuts. Remember that. Okay, well, anyway. Eh, anything else to look at in here? I mean, I'm, I'm here to see a specific person. And they're horribly morose taste in, in uh, pictures. Of course, I suppose that's not really all that surprising given what we've seen in the rest of the town. It's a morose place, you understand. Hey, yo, what up? Oh, mother. Why can't you be here with us? You resemble an adventurer more than a doctor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. I saw you in a dream. Don't flatter yourself. My desires have nothing to do with that. I simply saw you all take us by the throat. Very cruel words, but what else did you see in the in that dream? I can tell you when I think I trust you. Well, uh, come, okay, come on now. Wait is over. Right. Now listen there. closely. The time for collusion, secrets, and alliances has come. I'm going to ask something of you. I'm not used to that. I'm used to holding the reins, you're not harnessed, and blah, 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 blah. Yes, better be polite. No, not an adventure, and my job is no venture. Hope it doesn't become one. Although, at any point in time, I can take out the scalpel and start slashing. And start blasting people. Well, there are guns in this game, actually, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any of them. 
I, I apologize if my words come across as mangled and silly. I am truly not used to asking. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> we get it. You're rich. <laughs> But uh, the nature of my request demands complete and selfless humility. Just imagine me begging and kneeling, and believe me, I do feel that way. <sighs> Shut up, Dankowski. Uh, no need to kneel. What do you want to talk about? Today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the score of irreplaceable victims. Soon their number will multiply. I beg you, I beg you to preserve the lives of several people when the lines of fortune cross yours. Before any of them dies, there will be a moment where you're able to intervene. I know that for a fact. How? I mean, aside from being a video game, I had a vision. I'm clairvoyant. Now oh, she's so happy about that. Congratulations on your clairvoyance, Maria. <laughs> I will become the nocturnal queen soon. Just like my beloved sorceress mother used to be. Well, so you want to take care of them? <laughs> and to turn back the wheel that is about to crush us. Yes, this is my last hope. Perhaps you are master of your fate? Even Simon cannot boast this title now. I, I guess. <laughs> How would you reward me in ten days' time? How do you reward me if in ten days' time these people are still alive? Would you go with me to the- No. <sighs> ah, Dankowski, you're terrible. I'm only staying here for a day or two. I'm not good at separating the interweaving lines of life, but my intuition is superb. Stay alert, bachelor. Watch the condemned extend their hands towards you, begging for help. Will you deny it to them? They are essential to your victory. I mean... Uh, I fight, lose, and win on my own. Well, that doesn't matter. What was destined to happen will happen. You can be whatever you want to be, but not a coward. What? <laughs> not a coward choosing to hear no evil and run away from reality. That's excessive. I'll give you a list of those that I know, people that are bound to you. Are you trying to flirt with me? No. Uh, bound. Oh, there's a tight spring of power within each of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human existence. They are not just mere NPCs. They can break the routine of mere existence. Okay, anyway. They're standing on the verge of their humanity, gazing at a realm which they can serve a higher purpose without them even... Yeah, 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 whatever. The bound. And how are they supposed to die? Bound to die. No, way to shy. no need to shy away from it. That is also implied. Well, you didn't answer my question. How are they going to die? I don't know. I don't. I haven't unlocked the full powers of the nocturnal mistress just yet. <sighs> They're just not the clear as me as I prefer. I can only feel the present and distinguish a dubious guess from the pulse of this precise knowledge devoid of words and images. Okay, that's super vague then. These people are bound to you. Your lives are connected. When I'm asked to take care of them otherwise. She already said she's clairvoyant, but whatever. Oh, yes, you haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that someone might be unaware of my abilities, right? You're not used to asking. Ah, I hate these people already. Um, no one dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every ruling house possesses special abilities. Sure, why not? I'm learning to see the future and transform the present. <laughs> Your words a different degree of authenticity. Um... Let's take the sarcastic answer. Will you comply with my request? Will you save the lives of the people I name you? Answer me before going back to Ava. Oh, how'd you know that Ava was going to call me back? Ah, whatever. I'll do my best to do it. So, of course, you're going to ask me to save your family members. Why not? These two? Well, I don't know. Yourself? Sure. Whatever. Ava. This, you know, I, I guess that makes sense. And, of course, Mark Immortal, guest starring as the guy with the best portrait in the game so far. <laughs> Thanks, Immortal Mark. I don't know where to... I, look, I know where to find everybody else. I have no idea where to find Immortal Mark. I got no idea where this dude is, but it's like... <laughs> he looks like the best of them. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was going to be um, searching out the other two characters I've seen, there is the... Uh, the Stamat... Stamatins? Stamatins pub right down here, and then there's the studio right over here for the other characters that are bound to me. Like I said, Immortal Mark, no idea. You got anything else to say? Oh yeah, what exactly did you see in the dream of yours? The one that had to do with me. Truly terrifying battle is ahead of you. If no one has ever told you about your fate, I will be the first. You must know that I admire you in advance. Regardless of the outcome, you will def you will fight a foe few can defeat. Well, regardless of outcome... 
You'll clash with your foe like a dragon slayer, but your weapon will turn against you. Striking at the heart, you'll end up with flesh with your own flesh torn. Every drop of blood you squeeze out of that heart will turn into a gulp of yours. Your foe escapes you, penetrates you, or saddles you. You'll hear malicious laughter in your ears. And my crestfallen weeping. Well, so it's about the murderer. Well, I'll make them regret your tears. Whoever they are. Alright. It's a real game of cat and mouse. I'd like to say. Did you check the? Uh, did you check into the bed for a mortal mark? Oh, by the way, here are these the uh, tutorial characters again. Here to give me a few more hints on like gameplay and the like, but I don't really need that at least yet. I think. Can you have sex in this game? I don't know. Do you want to? <laughs> like, did she just spoil the ending? Uh, of this video, probably. <laughs> I'm going to be honest right now. Of the game? No, I don't think so. Hey, Georgie, uh, one more thing I want to ask However you here. In action, it should not be oh. He will also tell me a little bit more about, like, uh, where Rizdor lives, but I guess I don't have the ability to get that, uh, that question anymore. Well, I mean, okay. With Kane dead... I should probably go see Barack. Um, however, I, I did also say that I was going to go... Ah, whatever, let's just go head over there right now. Whatever Ava was going to tell me, I suppose, is not going to be all that useful right now, now that I've figured out that the object of my quest has been deceased by the hands of another person. Eh. Yeah, mad sex with 2005 character models. Only if I can... Only if it's the executor. We'll save that for Nutvember, though. <laughs> ah, well, this is off to a rollicking good start. Daniel Dankowski is is not looking too good. Hey, what's up? Uh, no, apparently not. <laughs> I'll try to talk to a whole bunch of the NPCs as I'm kind of walking around here, because of course this game does uh, have quite a bit of meandering around here. I'm sure as you could probably tell from the way that this is like a. Uh, this is, you know, set up right now. What do you mean? One big family, yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, shut up. Yeah. It's almost like we're in a video game. <laughs> sure, sure, whatever. Can you steal cars in this game? Do you think that this game takes place in a period where there were cars... Okay, we can learn a little bit about, like, the area around here. Uh, not so much learn to get... Uh, tell me about the Termitary. That's the place that's attached to the giant heart. <laughs> Two massive buildings in the eastern part of Earth. Uh, I guess that's the what the ward is called. Termitary marks the district's border. Beyond that is only the abattoir and the steppets itself. People do not belong there. Why not? Well, they just don't. It's not a people place. I mean, it's probably the Tonberries, right? Living over there. Well, some folk live there. Uh, step people, butchers... It's way out of your area of expertise, believe me. Well, okay. Something to keep in mind, though. It's, uh... It's the, this area right here. I mean, it's even got, like, parts for valves on it. And it's, like, veins. <laughs> what, is, what is this? Uh, whatever. Figure out in time, I suppose. It's a period when people didn't have cars? Oh, boy. Let me tell you a tale. Hello, child. Uh, tell me about the... D what's wrong with you? Great question, kiddo. Um, but... Uh, yeah, what's up with the cathedral? That's one wacky-looking cathedral. It's, it's a bridge square, uh, spinning on... What, what, no, I asked about the cathedral. Because <laughs> no one knew they were going to the tower. The plan is to create a square that will be completely situated on a very large bridge. Oh, okay. Make a fun fair there. I think the tower is more compelling. I suppose. Of course it is. I mean, there could have been magicians at the fun fair, but the tower is much more exciting than any magic tricks. I want to ask about both of these, but what about the cathedral? I don't know. I've never been there. This comes with a handful of love letters. Elaine? Hypocrisy? What? Hey. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about the tower. You don't need that. Why not? I'll let you in anyway. There's a secret room inside. And what's in there? Well, it's a secret. 
I don't know if I would really consider that a tower, but... <sighs> well, about as helpful as a normal child. Anyway... I mean, this is more like taking place in the 1890s. I don't really know if that's quite the same thing. <laughs> eh, not with the way people are dressed, but, you know. Typo must be plain. Wouldn't surprise me with the amount of dialogue in this game. <laughs> eh, I already talked to a Moppet like you. Got any more interesting characters around here? Like, hey, what's up? Well, what do you got to barter? Just curious. You're gonna sell me bullets. You're gonna sell me bullets now, are ya? That's okay. You just take your shotgun shells and... What? <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, um... Continuing on here... Hmm. Hey, yo, you look weird. Hey, what's in your pockets? You want to trade? Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, a lockpick. Fortunately, I don't really have anything to trade right now. I just wanted to see what these characters have on them. Oh, I do recognize you. This little Le Miserable character does have some stuff to talk about here. So, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the Polyhedron. They're the youngest cane. Casper, stylized Khan, sure, has fortified. There are more than a thousand children up there right now. I don't believe that. Almost every child went to the Polyhedron except for urchins, orphans, and bold daredevils like me. Yeah, I can tell from your, your jaunty haircut and lack of shirt. Trying to tell me they live there? Well, the older ones do. The younger kids come by and play. But yesterday, everyone who's older than three and younger than 15 had a huge gathering there. They're hiding from the parents. From fate, Bachelor! From fate! Well, good for them. <laughs> Stop that. Stop doing that right now. Now, I want to ask you a little bit more about, like, a... Um, tell me about, like, the hindquarters. Hey-ho! The hindquarters is a merry district. It's earth above the factories on the brink of the gullet. Uh, on the bank of the gullet. Uh, it's where the ominous willows are, house of ill repute, and a pub called Factsest. Uh, uh, I don't know. Twins spend th th tend to spend their time on the ladder, so staying there is dangerous for both your life and sanity. Yeah, well, I'm kind of charged with uh, keeping them safe, so that's cool. What's willows? A malicious wench lives there. Her name's Anna Angel. A proud potato. The proudest of potatoes. She used to, if I've ever seen one, uh, she used to be a famous singer, and now she is dealing in spells and hexes. We'd smash her windows with stones, if not for the respect we have for the previous owners. Lived there before. A girl named Willow Mellow, a hell of a name, and a difficult one to say, nonetheless. Uh, used to live there, and then she died. That's how it goes. I no would have thought it twice, and she had not died after offering shelter to the poor Anna Angel. Grace said that Willow was buried in a closed coffin, and that coffin was suspiciously light. Spooky! Hey, see, I told you! That's a that, that's a spooky story. Ah, I pranked you. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, you know, speaking of the painted world of Ramus, it's like we also have stuff like this kind of existing around here. Where you get to see the great uh, going upstairs animation, which is kind of janky too. Like everything else in this game. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, anyway. <laughs> at least you get a good view of the town. Or at least as far as you can see. And yes, if I do walk off this, I will die. And boy, would that be a sad end to the tale of Daniel Danikovsky. <laughs> but there are like several buildings for whatever reason like that. Working off the same sort of way that the polyhedron uh, functions, I suppose. <laughs> Floating on hopes and dreams, I'd say. He said the word. He did say the word. He did in fact say the word. I want to say that that, has, that means that we have a success of a video now. Suspiciously only talking to children. I mean, there's a lot of children around here. And they do have, tend to have like a lot more information than the adults. They also seem to be a lot more sensible than the adults. So, uh, if there's anybody that's going to be surviving the horrible sand plague... Wait, I never actually showed the beginning of the game, have, did I? Eh, whatever. I was crying for the poor children. How are my dearest holding? Is everything all right? Oh, a woman's share is hard. 
Uh, can I mend my clothes? I mean, I could, but I don't. My clothes are doing fine. Got a curious town here. I've never seen expect to see something like this in such a remote place. Everyone's tired of the endless construction work. We want some quiet. Well, doesn't it have a positive side? Of course it does. The state is never lacking, and the constant construction projects provide workplaces. Still, we want more quiet. Yes, this incredibly quiet game when there isn't music playing. Which is a pretty rare thing, regardless. Can you drown in this game? I don't think so. I, I, if you can swim in this game, I haven't really tried just yet. Oh, oh. Time to start digging around in the trash. Oh, yeah. Give me the, the cool stuff here. Stop doing that. It's freaking me out. Which is good, because it's spooky. Anyway. <laughs> All that whole thing. Not all song and dance. Now, Barack's place is quite strange because, as you can see, it is very much surrounded on all sides by <laughs> by fencing. So just sometimes just like finding your way in there is kind of difficult. Ah, uh, well, yeah, here. If you're wondering why I'm not just going around and swimming here, uh, well, all the animals, dirty of image, drink from the river. Us proud men deserve to drink spring water. Man, you had face. Brought here by the barrels, but they're often empty. I get it from here, but I'm out of bottles. I drink, uh, drink straight out of the fountain, but I'm going to faint. The air here is too spicy. That's uh, the pumpkin spice in the air. So, uh, you got an abattoir? What's, what's up with that? With great trepidation that I said I'm about to answer your question, Professor. Professor? The abattoir has been here uh, since nothing else was, and mark my word, it will remain here after nothing else does. That's what they said of Simon. Tis vanity of all vanities, and all is vanity. Well, why trepidate? My trepidation comes from uncertainty and confusion, Professor. The abattoir instills fear. What if it is if not a temple of death? An interesting way to put that, I suppose. An operational one, mind you, not like the town cathedral on the bridge square. But it, I was just told by one of the kids that people do go there. Hundreds of bulls being slaughtered there. What else is there to know? It is a, our humble town that provides the whole northeastern region with beef. Even the whole country may hap. How many poor bull souls does it take to stuff the belly of a country that has millions upon millions of citizens, eh? Well, your humble river also obviously supplies the country with water. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. It's an opera. It's not like it's a heart that isn't beating, I suppose. Hmm. Children look on disapprovingly as you scrounge through the trash. Yeah, well, whatever. Look, man. I'm Daniel Gnankowski. I'm not gonna die in this godforsaken town. Even if that does mean rooting through the trash like uh, the the lowest of low animals and all that. Yeah, it's fine. Horny face. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, that is important. Well, we've been explicitly told that Barack is not actually at his house right now, but I suppose we can go root through it and see what we can pick up there, right? That's the way I see it. Oh, he's got a few guards posted out in front. Sure, sure, sure. I won't worry too much about that. Hey, guys, you know why um, Isidore's house is uh, is locked up? A foul murder occurred here last night. No unauthorized access allowed. Inspecting the crime scene is strictly forbidden until further notice. Well, fuck. <laughs> well, you're not local, so you're unlikely to understand the loss we suffered. Isidore Bar Barak. A great surgeon, a benefactor to us all, and an all-around skilled doc. Well, <laughs> I mean, you could also say that describes me. Um, an outstanding man, beloved and well-respected by us locals. Uh, does it does really have to take the very best? What a foul time to live in. Well, I'm also a doctor. <laughs> Whoever killed our only doc must surely be looking to get us all killed. Is could cure anything? He also knew how to make cuts or incisions, because he was a warden. He knew all his lines right. Like I said, it makes sense. Whoever killed Simon also took Isidore's life. And this is merely the beginning. Well, what makes you so sure that this is only the beginning? See, this murderous deal is all mysterious. There was a talon stuck in the victim's chest. Go on, bend your arm at the elbow. There you go. That's how long it was. It broke off. There was dust on the floor. For the deceased had been a renowned stepwalker. And the dust was covered in hoof steps and the like. Traces of a sharp bone, I guess. As if someone was using a walking stick around here. I'm telling you, it's her, the Shabnaka deer, the clay man eater. All right, can, can, can I can I go inside? No. Well, you should have said so from the start. <laughs> anyway, let's go over to the Sabaroffs. Mm. No. 
More murder. Yeah, well, not the first, it's not the last now, is it? Hey! What are you guys doing over here? <laughs> it looks like we're having a good old uh, case of mob justice. Mid 2000s. Um. Wow. Well, wow. Now that gotta save that one for November. <laughs> hey, what the hell? That was no Shavnak. That was a girl, a living girl. Well then. Uh, but in the fire, she's not virgin. She was made of clay. Wrong, all wrong. Hardened, she must and fall apart. I. Yeah? Smells like burning flesh, huh? A mistake then. Gotta keep looking. Come on, fellas. Find the bitch. Haven't come home the back, but the backbone yet. What? Where's the patrol? Have you murdered them too? I don't know. These guys are gone. So, there is literally a monster around killing people well i mean i suppose if you're to believe that but certainly the mob justice around here believes that well enough burning people at the gigantic bone what what is what is this <laughs> yeah i do know that the, i have seen some dialogue on that maybe i'll be able to find that again but i do not remember who said it <laughs> oh boy oh boy we gotta find the most scantily clad women around here and burn them. <laughs> they might be a a man-eating clay golem. Well, let's go talk to Sabrofs. I mean, to be honest, I I guess I was going to anyway because the the three voices of the town are kind of the major lead that I have when it comes to maybe checking out who might know anything about anything. But yeah. Where'd the woman go? Oh, she was not actually the Shabnak Adir, but she was a... She was a uh, witch, so she burned up like uh, like she was made of wood. <laughs> That's why that left no body. And Apothecary. What do we got going on in here? These guys really don't have too much of anything of use, at least as far as I can tell. Painkillers. These useless alpha tablets. Outdated and only useful in large doses that cause serious health damage. I mean, I guess that might still be useful. Like health damage, I, I got, I got health. It's fine. It's like not cut him. I mean, I could. Yeah, dopey looking guy. He doesn't know what's gonna happen, but I won't. A spittoon over here. Oh boy. She wasn't a witch because real witches don't actually burn. No, the shop knock a deer wouldn't actually burn. Real witches would burn, right? Ah, whatever. Hey, what do you got to say? So here we are once again. No one's asking us. Got a smoke? I, I don't, unfortunately. Prepare this device. I'll, I, I'll sharpen the blade is more what we're talking about. I don't have a gun just yet. Hey, tell me about yourself. Me? Yeah, I'm a factory worker. Oh, yeah, I saw one of you guys squatting uh, over by Eva Yon's earlier. Only treats us like dirt, though. Well, I got my own house, otherwise I would have been stuck in that husk with the rest of them. Oh, no going out. Not even to buy bread. You just sit there gnawing and watch your stockpile beforehand. They're completely off the rocker. What are you talking about? Thermitary. And why? Well, what sins? Do we not handle the workload well enough? That might be so- I'm gonna stop doing this voice now. That might be so, but still, what are we to do now? Nah, home is best. Feels nice to have one. I can appreciate that. Moreover, living as a commune is warmer, yeah. Mutual support. Team spirit, all that. When you've got one bite in a thousand months, one gulp in a thousand throats, support becomes irrelevant. They're starving and therefore getting weak. Don't seem to be starving here. Well, don't seem to be. How about you take off your big city goggles? Well, big city goggles? Hey, come on. <laughs> take a speak inside the territory. I'll turn your nose up ahead in a split sec. It's where they seem to be. Starving, all right. Trains two week off schedule. Yeah, it works out fine for the Provident Squirrels. The rest are off their hunkers. <laughs> On their hunkers? Kindly stop shouting. So stocking up was the right choice. Good for them squirrels. Hmm. Skyrim, is that you? <laughs> I'm just wondering, what is the penalty for for what is it, necrophilia around here? 
Hey, what's up here? Whoop. Oh. You know, for being so rich, you guys have nothing here. Can't even look at most of the stuff. No, I can't stand it much longer. All right, what's up? The outcome was to be expected, I'm afraid. Simon was doomed. So, I finally get to see you. Yes, you really do look like a messenger of sorrowful times. In any case, welcome to the Rod. What a name. Our meeting is quite significant in a way. Facing changes with an open eyes is the first blow to my duty. And taking the first blow is my duty. Well, do you think we're on, on the verge of an especially unhappy era? No grim events have clouded our existence since last summer. The country has cured its war wounds. Commercial communications have been repaired. Astrologists expecting nothing ill? Do you hold astrologists' opinions in high regard? I mean... I do. Are you an astrologist? I'm a ruler. Astrology can be very curious, but I cannot allow it to influence my decisions. I have to act according to factual circumstances. Would you agree? I I suppose so. What has this town turned into? Truly a country of... <sighs> so you've come to meet with Simon, haven't you? What can I do for you now? Now. I was actually invited by Isidore, so I can't see him first and foremost. Well, not, not, that's a lie. Uh, who are the people guarding his house? A volunteer patrolmen, we usually keep about 20 of them. But I've increased the number recently to a hundred and a half or so. My. Really, why do you need so many? There's unrest in the termitary. If I weren't certain that Isidore's that Isidore has been murdered by his son, I would even consider the crime to be politically motivated. Isidore is preparing to take over the kin and become its leader, or at least according to the information I have. Uh your wife? I mean she is psychic, as all the women are. Uh what is the kin? Step people who work in the abattoir, many other factory workmen. An ignorant patriarchal pile that hasn't changed much since the Stone Age. They look human enough, but if you look closer, they're just beasts. Believe me when I'm telling you that I'm not snobbish in the slightest. Not at all. Even a little snobbish. But there's good reason to call them that. Ah, uh, I mean, Isidore always had the air of a person untouched by civilization. I mean, I respect the man as a doctor. I do not respect him as a human, though, apparently. Goodness, Isidore was an educated modern man compared to them. They revered him, too. He got to know modern knowledge, but never left his people. A complicated man may rest in peace. Yes, I'm so sorry about it. I think well aware that Isidore came to me last night, and just after he returned, and warned me that there were some ominous events in front of us. I took that as an unofficial warning about his upcoming takeover. And so, you took measures. Um, it, evidently. I've mobilized patrols. I see what you're implying, Bachelor, but I'm not insane. Engineering Isidore's murder, as a matter of fact, a strong, independent kin under Isidore's rule would have been much more useful to me. I mean, but I, you know, I guess he's a modern man, but then I'll ask why anyway. As you said. Because that would weaken the power of the Honorable Vladislav Golgimsky. Who has pocketed the economy of the whole town. You'd rather see the kin as tum dumb and speechless herd and come to think of it. Well, I'm sure you understand where I'm going with this. <laughs> this is precisely what George warned me about. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna turn you against each other. All that sort of stuff. Uh, you look like a messenger of sorrowful times. Did you just get burned by this dude? Well, <laughs> the respect for player is not high here, to say the least. <laughs> Uh, meet with him first and foremost, but it turns out he's been murdered, yes. <laughs> Looks like the murderer is always one step up ahead of you. Hey, I did not even get a chance to get one step ahead of them. Same one that took Simon's life, at least that's conclusion suggested by the information at my disposal. Same pattern, same signature. So, who did it? Yeah, his own son. Now, okay, here's the thing, actually, uh, right now. His own son is the other playable character, <laughs> so I have my doubts. Unless, I mean, maybe, maybe whoever you choose as your main character, the other main character is the first boss of the game. That's not really how you would talk about this game, but you know what I'm saying. The fellow came back after being away for quite a while. His father sent him to study surgery when he was but a greenhorn. Quite a lot he has learned, huh? Wandering scholar turned evil to the bone. Just all to grab the inheritance. Uh, how did you figure that out? In all honesty, it'd be hard to be. It's hard to explain to an outsider like you. Do you believe in a thing such as clairvoyance? Of course I do. Well, you should get to know my wife then, or better yet, those who already had opportunities to witness the power of her prophecies. 
former daughters, first and foremost, the rationalists. She's got something to say to you, too, by the way. So, your wife called out Isidore's son, specifically? Not specifically, no. <laughs> but it all adds up. And the circumstances of Simon's death make you wonder, too. Isidore's son arrived here last night. The timing speaks against... I arrived here last night! <laughs> it even matches the time it takes from the Crucible to get to Isidore's house. Well, that's not really enough. I'll take the investigation into my own hands. Is there anyone that can be of help to me apart from your wife? There are a few good analysts in our town. Everyone is more or less superstitious here. So I understand. Uh, except for one Yulia Lirjeva. I don't know. Uh, perhaps. Most level-headed and reasonable person. The only person who remains skeptical about Katarina's talents, too. Without a shadow of a doubt, she has her own picture of events. She always does. Well, that's exactly what I need. And there she is. Although, talking about it, might as well go um, check out uh, check out his wife. You know what I mean by that. <sighs> I mean, these uh, the clairvoyant women of town certainly are going to have a lot to be said about... Uh, they're going to have a lot to say about current events. Uh-huh. Yo. It's true. The girl has proven that she's a saint, not a killer. All right. I mean, I never liked black and white mentality. Not speaking metaphorically or metaphysically, I'm talking about a very particular battle. You are one of the combatants, Bachelor Dunkowski. Do you favor good or evil? <laughs> I favor winning. Winners write the outcomes, after all. Spoken like a true warrior. I truly wish you victory, Bachelor, even though I doubt there can be victory in, at all in this battle. Well, you're very kind. I need morphine. You're a brave man, Bachelor Dunkowski. Well, you're overestimating my virtues. This fight is very unlikely to end in your favor. Does a clay and bone man-eater leave traces of, of the kind you've witnessed? I have not witnessed anything because nobody will let me see any of the bodies. It's only a spell and illusion. Some prefer to see it that way. It makes it easier for them. Uh, what man-eater? Are you talking about the Shab Nakadir? I've heard a little bit about it. Sorry to break it to you, but you will have to fight to the death. Even if it was a metaphor, the ending is still, ambi is still unambiguous. If you don't figure out what happens before nightfall, you'll die. Uh, I will guess I'll take that into account. <laughs> By the way, they're not kidding. Once it hits midnight, I die instantly. <laughs> Unless I figure out what's going on, I suppose. That's, uh... That's gonna be fun. It should not be your primary concern at the moment. You should concern yourself with the number of minutes you have left. And that number is dwindling. Don't throw predictions around. Others will tell you how often they come true. Do heed my words. Fine. Well. Gotta go. Are you just sitting out here? Get out of here. Um. Well, that's gonna be something. Let's go talk to you, Leah, I suppose. <laughs> that's kind of like the most, um. Most likely of a lead that I have right now. Aside from maybe going and talking to the Olgimskis. Vlad, I'm sure, has his own version of the story to be spinning. As well as potentially his own visit by Isidore, who um, has been apparently going around to each one of the elders as of right now and kind of telling them, warning them of something truly terrible on the horizon. No jump button? There is! Right here. Huh? Yeah, check it out. Dankowski, I assume, is just doing like a little bunny hop right here. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of unbefitting of a uh, man of science, though. What, are you all staring at me because I'm digging out of the trash all the time? Whatever. Eh, everything's gonna be fine. Guess nothing really else to say about them. Go for a swim, then? No! Did you not hear that it's like the, the water is gross? <laughs> it's not a thing we're gonna do. If it's faster, that's science working in your favor. Uh, Dankowski is not just a man of science. He's also a man of um, dignity, I guess. At least to a certain extent. Okay, then. This is an interesting picture. Works the whole morose tone of this place. 
meaningfulness in the chessboard? Probably not, but that's worth looking at nonetheless. Yo, you Yulia. This girl is a changeling. She's not the murderer. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the changeling just yet. Since I've lost any capacity for observation, my mind is out of tune. Things no longer add up. Before, I had no trouble forming a trustworthy tessellation out of the most imperceptible contingencies. Now I simply cannot get my head around it. Could it be that I'm dying? Eh, yeah, probably. But, uh, yeah, you haven't slept for a while. Probably just tired. No, no herb, but vein is in blossom. Some kind of herb is in blossom, I grant you. But then it blooms every year. Every year the step is filled with its stupefying vapors. The issue I am having, however, has nothing to do with fatigue or perplexity. It's just that I've lost my ability to make distinctive events coincide. Ah, I see you have been writing for Persona 5. <laughs> hey, what's that herb? No matter what preternatural traits uh, the locals ascribe to it, all twire is, the twire is all heady aroma, a bunch of superstitions, and remarkably little else. It has psychoactive properties. Uh-huh. After a fashion. But so does simple wormwood. Visions caused by the ingestation of, Belad ingestation of belladonna or jimson weed. I'm not familiar with that. Much more fascinating than what Twire has to offer. I mean, that kills you. What, whatever. Hey, what's going on? Mind endeavors to reach one goal. P5 moment. Shut up. <laughs> insensibly drags us towards another. Oh, you traveled all the way here to only find that both people you want to see have been brutally murdered. Indeed. Is that how the story goes? It is how the story has been going. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not working out too well for the bachelor here. I do hope that your visit is not in any way related to these most unfortunate of circumstances. Uh, to find whoever killed, uh, to find whoever it is that killed Isidore and Simon, I want to help ask for your help. Sabrov told me you had a gift for all manner of investigative inquiry. I am certainly no better investigator than you. I never had a chance to search for a murderer before. Well, do you think that I have? <laughs> The best I can do is fill in the blanks with whatever mysterious supernatural entities seem most fitting. The Shavnakadir is a simple man's scarecrow. I would have followed a different narrative. I mean, do you think it's the Shavnakadir? Because, like, I... I suppose there are clairvoyants and sorcerers and the like all around here, but I don't really know if I would say that it's likely that she was killed by a horrible golem. We're far away from Prague, after all. What kind of narrative concerning the circumstances of his death? Simon said he locked himself up in the evening and consequently died in the morning inside of the mansion in a chamber of some peculiar name, the Focus. In that case, I would suggest that Simon was poisoned. No, he was literally torn apart. And also, I asked about that already. I was wondering if that was going to give me any different dialogue because I knew she was going to say this. Damn it. <laughs> but the Keynes would have thought, uh, but I know their family all too well. Uh, their mutual loyalty is only rivaled by their arrogance towards anyone who is not one of them. They hold privately Sage, who stands at the head of their family in highest esteem. They believe that a single dishonorable act will tarnish their name for generations to come. I doubt any of them would have stooped to this, no matter whether they wanted to or not. Now, but did they? They want to do it? In all likelihood, they did. The respect for Simon was nothing compared to the adoration they felt from the common townspeople. After all, every cane suffers the same kind of benign insanity that leads to them pursuing their own fantasies, and little else other than that. This indulgence is something that, like, is that Simon would likely stand in the way of. So you think the cause of death is poison? Uh, I don't believe you uh, understand what di he died in focus really means. Do you understand what the canes refer to as focus? You don't seem to grasp the semantics of that term. Uh, those are the canes for you. These kinds of innuendos are their forte. Well, what is focus then? Anything but an abstraction. Quite the opposite, in fact. is governed by mathematically rigid regularities. You see, no one but the owner of a focus may get inside. That's going to mean Simon brought the killer with him, or rather, within him. Since no... Okay, so you're talking about astral projection. Man, what is even... Uh, are there fights in this game? Yes, but uh, I'm not getting in them right now, because why would I need to? <laughs> How do you know that? Who doesn't? The Canes are notoriously passionate about all manner of synthetic anomalies. Never pass up the opportunity to defy Ah, goodness. That will allow them to warp space, challenge physics, or manipulate optics. Metaphysically, a focus can be compared to a camera obscura. Do note that the name is not unfitting. No, it is entirely impossible for someone to get inside. Wow. I mean, yeah, he, he was stabbed. Like, uh, the man was mangled. Mangled! <laughs> 
stabbed is not even begin to describe it. Ruman told Slara that Isidore was slaughtered by some sort of object resemblant of a humongous razor sharp talon. Kunst Kunstuk Kunstuk Kunstuk. I I don't know German. <laughs> Come on. Oh boy, what a riveting case! And I wonder if some people will st some people will start talking of step monsters made of assorted bones. Yeah, talon. So I've heard. But I mean, I suppose it's hard to deny. Not that I can. Not that I can see the body either way. Such was the topography of the wound, according to Ruben. Ruben, Ruben? I don't know. Uh, neither Lara uh, nor me are able to colloquialize a term like this. You should speak with him directly if you wish. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get what he means by topography of it. God damn, you know, it's, it's the thing. Make haste if you want to get a hold of him. He's you eager to join Simon as soon as possible, and no pun intended. Oh, shut up. Um, well, where is he? Morning is master. They were very close. Did he investigate his house? Yes, yeah, well, they won't let me in. Well, it does introduce a different perspective. Do you say that Isidore was the last person to see Simon? Question is, who did he see before? Sun had not yet set before Isidore had returned from steps. However, he came to Simon well after midnight. The question naturally arises. Where did he spend the missing few hours? Uh, well, that's why I'm trying to chase the steps. Was he seen with Savarov? He did. He interpreted it as an omen of upcoming unrest. Yeah, that's true. All right, let me suggest that while he was in the step, he learned or saw something that he wanted to report to all three ruling families. In this case, either the Olgimsky family should have been on, uh, uh, either of the Olgimsky family should have been on his itinerary, especially since Barack was one of his own men. Yeah, it's definitely the Bull Project from the abattoir to the ro the, the railway <laughs> is controlled by the Olgimsky family. If Isidore had discovered anything to do with the kin, well, it was certainly related to Vlad. Uh, so make sure to pay a visit to the Lump, name of the Olgimsky man mansion. A fitting name, wouldn't you agree? Thank you, Yulia. What would I do without you? All right. Now, after wandering through the town a whole lot, I do actually know where Olgimski the Younger is, but let's talk the older first. It's kind of, um... <laughs> the models are crap. Yeah, well. I'm sure as you can probably tell at this point in time, the uh, game's not so much about the models. <laughs> it's just, um... Man, this girl shouldn't be named uh, Emma. I mean, I this I think this is supposed to be taking place somewhere in Russia. New name is Emma. I mean, we'll see if we even talk to her before I get killed by the Shabnaka deer at this rate. And when will you start your murderous rampage? I mean, I could do it at any point in time. It would just require but a single button. Yeah? Hey, what's going on? Hey, why are you so bristled up? It has begun! A crushing blow to the soul and halves is being prepared. There are almost 70 dog heads. Wow, that's a lot of dog heads. No one will escape their doom. What, 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 what does that mean? It means the end of the soul and the halves domination on this earth. Notkin will have to break a sweat free from the dog's jaws. Ah, uh, who's Notkin? You'll know when the time comes, if he's still alive by then, that is. I really hope you're not actually murdering somebody. I gained some destiny to others. Uh, I wasn't here. I mean, there's a place that you can see that's kind of related to that. Uh, right down here. Castle of the Soul and a Halves. And um, some of the dog-headed characters we might um, might be seeing soon enough. Actually, let me take a check here real quick. Uh, hunger and exhaustion. Getting out there a little bit. I suppose I could probably go and... Um, ooh. First, before anything else, of course, look through the look through the trash containers. I need to. Doc, you kill a child. Amazing mission complete. That's right. <laughs> You're the best. What are you? I have not killed anybody yet. I am a man of science and of medicine. Do no harm and all that. What is this now? Ooh, milk. Cows have been producing a clear acre, and dark clots have been found in steamed milk. Uh, hey, vegetables. This is stolen goods? Well, I don't know. Get, 
Give it to me, I guess. This looks like skooma. I don't think skooma would probably be a better thing to uh, eat at this point in time, to be honest. Ugh, gross. Hey, look, it's one of the mask guys. Looking good. Come on over to the theater, I guess. Open during the nights, doing some interesting performances from what I've heard. Interesting indeed. Like the story of Pathologic, for example. Anyway, Slenderman? No, no. This would predate Slenderman by quite a while, in fact. Like quite a while. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, you can already see the lump right there. I don't know if I would really say that's a fitting name, but uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter either way now, now does it? Let me in already. <laughs> Your stupid giant, um, fence is too large. They look pretty slender to me. Yeah, but they're not like Slenderman. Oh, yeah, there's one of those guys. The Tonberry fellows that I've seen before. Hey, Vlad. I can see why they call you Big Vlad. Hmm. Yo, what's up? So, oh, Bachelor Dankowski, of course. Who else could be so dapper? I've heard quite a lot about you. Uh, have you taken a look around? Be sure to check the state of the industry around here. We... Have our own ways. Well, I'm not really interested in your industry right now. I have, like, some other stuff to talk about. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, so, Isidore came by to see you last night. Don't try to deny it. And so what if he did? I'm also aware of what you two have been talking about. I don't know why he lets us see Simon afterwards. Well, here, what were you two talking about? I Obviously, yeah, the Sabaroff uh, guy has his own idea of what it was, but let's hear it from you. Business, my curious friend. Purely business. I have no interest in other subjects. It has nothing to do with you, and with that I bid you. The door's behind you. The big one. I'll figure this out, man. And also, I'm going to just talk to you again right now. It's like, come on. I won't believe in the sun. So, the, the, let, let's talk about his death. What is Manny talking about? Um, be so kind as to mind your own manners. I have nothing to do with it. They say Isidore was murdered by a step demon, a shop knockadeer. There was a thingy, a talon they fleshed out from the wound. I mean, yeah, a demon, of course. No need to put on airs. Like, you know life. Scarcely off the train and full of scorn already. Oh, I know these big city manners full well. Yet the capital is a thousand versts away. As is any other decently civilized place, if you catch my drift. And you didn't let me finish. Okay, okay, okay. Vine, he was killed by that. Hard for you to believe, isn't it? It used to be used to be hard for many. Take my boy, for example, a scoffer if I've ever seen one. Oh, poor Vlad. <laughs> Having a bad uh bad relationship with his son. And now he believes it's real. He went off his head for a bit. Here in the step now, esteemed sir, eastern and backwards. Dead rise from the graves, clay dummies dance, bulls talk. So uh you, 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 you son know the step well? He rubs elbows with the rabble, the butchers, the odong. Yeah. Shepherds and gatherers learns their tongue, collects their legends. Doesn't keep them in check at all. They even dare to come visit him within the premises of the town. If you see a worm creeping through the streets, he's definitely looking for my son. Oh, well, that would have been good to know at the beginning of the game. Well, what's wrong with him visiting? They're dangerous, aggressive, they hate everyone. It, they hate everyone like they hate sand. Who isn't a step person? They'll jump on you and kill you on the spot. They'll tear you off with their teeth and devour your flesh while, while you're still throwing fists at them. They've been spouting in town. Countermeasures are taken. Yeah, well, Sabaroff has like 150 dudes uh, patrolling. I think we'll be fine. So, your son might know about the murderer? Hold your horses. You want to talk about my blockhead? No, you have nothing to talk about. He's not here, thankfully. I don't want you two to meet. You hear that? These are tradesmen's words and I'll stick to them. Yes, 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 of course. However, after exploring the town quite a bit, I do in fact know where Ogimski the Younger is. Oh, speaking of guys just kind of like wandering around town, there's one of them right now. What's 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 going on here, dude? You looking for uh, Ogimski the Younger? Ah, ah, can't talk to him. Look at Higo. 
Oh, measures are taken, eh, Vlad? Nah. I can see they are. Can you stab him? Yeah, well, yeah, I can stab anybody that I want to. But why would I? Yeah, he's just... He's just running. <laughs> there you go. Well, anyway. Because it's fun? No! I'm solving the mystery of a murder. I'm not here to just go ca cause more. <laughs> Ooh, you're full up on stuff, eh? Dried meat. Meat was cooked three weeks ago. Risk of it being infected is negligible. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. And also this, the smoked meat. Very nutritious and filling. Relatively hard to come by. Seems like the sort of thing that I could probably use right now. Also, do walnuts? One could exchange a walnut for something valuable? Okay. Akin to a currency among children, of which I'm probably going to need. And also crackers. Load me up, daddy. Hey, wait a second. You're not, like, infected or anything, are you? Because you're looking, like, kind of... Kind of funky. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, pretend you're playing Doom. I don't even have a gun. Nah, nothing. There's no, um... No other, uh, uh, tonberries running around, are there now? Also, give me some more water. Come on. There we go. Nice, nice. That's why I said pretend? No. <laughs> you really think that you're gonna be trying to get me to stab people? That's not really what this... That's not really what this game is about, you understand. He also has melee. He's got a bad punch and a good chainsaw, but that's not quite the same thing now, is it? Ah. Ah. I need more empty bottles. The game didn't tell you what it's about. Yes, it did. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, anyway. So, there is a place on the map. Windows of the house are bricked in, and I basically went to every single house that I possibly could when I was playing this game for the first time, and found out that indeed, old Gimski the Younger is in here. Yeah, that's a that's what a cow looks like. <laughs> Yo, it is easier to govern others than to prevent being governed. You found me here. Well, I'm not surprised. I suppose you've come to. I, I suppose you're not too surprised by the fact that everyone knows about you either. Rumor of your arrival sp uh, spread around like fire. Why have you come? Oh, I'm sightseeing. Uh, peculiar incident. Well, I don't even know what he's talking about here. And yeah, such things happen all the time. Hi. Katarina it's me. Thinks Claire is a messenger from heaven. <laughs> well, I yeah, am right. looking for the killer. It's true. I, I have been told about the termitary uh case of pointless aimless unrest has occurred within the hive mind's nest workers are prone to lashing out at one another uh, like beasts frightened by a storm they rage howl nod one another an unsightly image of a mass uprising and that's exactly what's going on in there right now precisely mm-hmm mm-hmm why are you telling me all of this Riots occurred in the Termitary several times before. The mob goes crazy for a few days, and then they calm down just as unexpectedly. All of them at once. Sun calm is just as void of reason as the unrest that had them agog previously. Having a certain experience with Akin, we simply block the, ex the entrance to the zoo until the riot defeats itself. And? We usually lock them up beforehand. The evidence of an upcoming outbreak of mass lunacy becomes obvious in advance. And the Termitary's father superior informs us of it. But Father Tai Chi has recently passed. Curious coincidence, don't you think? Mass anarchy, anyway. A member of the kin has managed to run off into town. We'll be busy taking measures. Okay. Interesting. What are you supposed to do in this game? We're, um, you know, solving a mystery. What do you, what do you think? You think he's in the killer? 
I think you and I can help each other, Doctor. You're looking for the killer, and I'm sure it's a runaway butcher. The title of Half Man suits him very nicely. Kane's claim that Simon has not been killed by a human hand, don't they? And our family doesn't need unnecessary unrest in the town. This butcher can babble devil knows what. His mind is likely clouded with insane ideas. Okay. So you'd rather he kept mum about what's happening inside? You're correct. They barely know how to speak. That only makes it worse. Half men, half beasts. If they start preaching, you feel as though you've encountered a doomsayer. Not a doomslayer. Well, you know. Uh, I need this butcher to disappear. Hand him over to the canes or simply kill him if the beast attacks you. Your reward will be hefty. You're taking me for a thug? Oh, I'll look into it. What do you got? Likely being harbored in a suspicious house in the crude sprawl. Yeah, that's my father. Uh, it's a man of rather hard-handed deposition, uh, disposition, <laughs> whatever, and quick temper to boot. If he finds out the crude sprawl is concealing a fugitive, he will make a mess. Pointless brutality serves no one. I'm looking for peace rather than blood. I'm telling you. All right. Well, jump with the house. Right over here. This, I believe, is a side quest that I could be doing, and I do know that there is a different way that I can approach it, but that's not quite what I'm looking for right now. So yeah, uh, did Isidore visit you last night? Uh, yeah, I know you met with your father, as well as the other elders of town, before everybody died. <laughs> well, anyway. Hmm. Uh, right, I'm going to ask you one more question now. You're... Your answer will determine whether you or I become friends or enemies. Well, I'd rather be your friend. Go ahead. What do you talk about? Isidore said, Note that I'm merely retelling it secondhand. He said there's an epidemic in the step camps. An outbreak of tar... tar tarbagan? Tar tarbagan? Sickness? Perhaps the plague. That is, Father, Father had discussed in order to lock the termitary up to prevent the infection from getting in. So... Was it an outbreak of madness or was it an infection that you locked it up? Why? Uh, what are you so afraid of that you would conceal this? You did the right thing. There's an underlying sensitive family matter here. To cut a long story short, my father would kill me if he found out about this conversation. The unrest in the term Terry C. Well, I incited it to make father lock it up. He didn't believe in his door. Oh, okay. So, why are you trying to... Why are you trying to get me to kill that one guy then? Man. I don't know. I see, I see. Uh, what do you think was the cause of Simon Kane's death? Especially taking into account that Isidore Barak had been his last visitor. You think it's the... Okay, we need to warm Reuben. It's very, it's very urgent. You need to warm Reuben. He's about to examine Simon as soon as a period of time requested by the Kane's passes. But where is he? I have no idea. Well, where is he staying? Some secret dissecting room in one of the warehouses, but nobody knows exactly where. You used to live mostly in the steps, sometimes dealing, sleeping in the termitary or at Lara Ravel's shelter. But he's not there, I know that for sure. Well, okay. He went away to mourn his master. Where would you have gone if you were him? I mean, I can wait at the canes. I <laughs> resign myself and let the place get good, but not, not very useful. Uh, check every warehouse, I guess. Okay, well, it seems like the real killer might just be a plague. <laughs> but that doesn't explain how he was torn to shreds. Unless it really was Isidore's son, I suppose. Maybe in some sort of vain attempt to try and curtail the whole uh, infection from uh, getting too severe. I mean, I guess that's a way you could look at it, but I don't really know if that's necessarily what is actually happening or not. Either way... On the map, you do actually know where Ruben's prosecutorium is. I've gone there a, a bunch of uh, times and can can never find the dude if Ruben is in there. So I could head there again. But there is also like Ravel's house who is um, here, I believe. Yeah, the shelter right there. There's also... Um, I guess every other warehouse, maybe I'll find another one around, but either way, there is now quite a, uh, quite a, a time limit, a hard time limit that has now been put on the game, which is, uh, well, I mean, there's already been a hard time limit at midnight. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm just going to keel over for no reason. It's pretty great. Hey, right, what about the warehouses? I want you to tell about it because it's two parts. First part is uh, town exports, meat, sausage, ham, bone meal, 
So it's various hardware and manufactured goods. How do I get there? It's in the knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already seen it. Unfortunately, I don't really think that's going to be all that useful as of right now. I mean, as much as I would like it to be, I think that, yeah, I do know that there is... Like, if I went back to Yulia, especially, I know that she would tell me to go and check out Ravel's house. Ravel Puzzlewell's house. So, I guess I'm going to go and do that. And, uh, it's gonna be over here. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, you guys are getting bored in chat? Ah, screw you. I like this game. But yeah, this is this is obviously why this game is going to be more of a one-off than like a uh, a big series type of thing. <laughs> Cause you guys are yeah yeah. I like the game, but it's like you know, why not throw it in the uh, in the big huge um, theme month that I'm doing where nobody's ever gonna watch it after all. <laughs> We need fighting. No. The, like, we're solving a mystery. And also, like, legitimately, I really do love the conversations that you have in this game. They're so overwrought and great. <laughs> it's fun to play, not to watch. I mean, you do realize that playing the game is literally me just, like, going between areas as of right now. There's probably going to be a lot more happening later, but this is... Before the town has been overrun by the sand plague. <laughs> Which, again, they didn't mention in the opening crawl to the game when you first started up, but uh, I guess I didn't show that. There's not really not really too much to be said about it. There's, there's a plague that has uh, ravaged a huge part of the country, and now it, I mean, as we've seen with talking to Vlad the Younger, it might be coming here. And that's a problem. A big problem. I mean, for God's sake, I do have an infection, or well, an immunity meter and an infection meter right now, which does not bode well for me. <laughs> anyway. So, I mean, there might be a chance that, like, uh, the, 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 like, Ruben isn't here, but not likely. And besides, I do know that, yeah, I want to go talk to you here anyway. They say Ripper was caught. Yep. He really could be Came to you in a dream, like a wish and all that. Hey, it's me, Dankowski. Hey, what's going on? Let's be friends now. I prefer being friends with everybody. Oh, that's so nice. Well, why are so few people out on the streets? One is either sleeping or dreaming. The odor of twire is uh, something else this year. Can't get away from it. Neither walls, cloth, glass can it help you escape the mind-numbing vapor. Ah, oh, well. Ah, uh, does your headache? Badly. It's nice since you can sleep all day at times like this, but the nightmares are horrible. Can only imagine what kind of hell the mistresses are going through. Mistresses? <laughs> it's just down. We call them dream mistresses. Ah, uh, yes, and that's why you become like the nocturnal sorcerer and stuff like that, I guess. Oh, you know, I suppose I didn't actually see the, um, uh, Oglumskaya, as I say here. Uh, it's just his daughter, because, I mean, I, I know that I have talked to her before, and she does not have anything of interest to say, but uh, hey. Yeah. Now, after Victoria's and Nina's departure, it's their daughters who are trying to see the future. They're far less impressive than their mothers for now. Of course, Maria is probably the best. So I've heard. So she feels uh, in her own opinion as well. Uh, uh, well, it's good to see children continuing the life work with their parents. Why are you frowning so much? Just in a melancholic mood. Way too used to playing the game of tragic predictions on trying to arrange everything back into order. Well, you... You doing it? Was it a month ago? No, your doctor, a wonderful one at that, a celebrity medic. Everyone in our small town knew what a famous doctor was coming here. Yeah, of course, of course they did. Great, cool. And I thought, and I was describing that to uh, psychic powers before. Uh, I'm very glad you have because I want to do a certain good thing. Can I ask a favor of you? Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't have much time left. That is, that is true. But well, what do we got? A few years ago, child death rate went through the roof here. Six people died in a week. Ten or so came down with serious illness. It made us worried, but unfortunately, we couldn't find the cause straight away back then. In the end, it turned out the children were playing a game, were dying because of a game. What kind of game kills children? They were playing, hmm, what they call it, some kind of medical game, stealing medicine from the adults, and making some kind of diabolical mixture out of it. 
And they healed each other with it. Back then, the game just faded into obscurity, but now I hear people are contemplating doing it again. Some of our Someone has already been poisoned. Well, I can do an examination, but I, I got no idea here. No, no, it's much simpler. There's a house in town, either abandoned or just unoccupied. It's where they play hospital. Uh, that's where they store their horrible mixtures. Please use your standing and your celebrity name to put an end to this game. Capella, Olgimski's daughter, uh, believes the house will be unlocked today. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, that was the daughter of Olgimski, uh, Vlad, that I didn't really talk to earlier. Not that, again, she does not have anything to say. Ah, uh, well. Um, you talking about the disfigured character models? Of a what? Ah, <laughs> uh, people ever leave the doors unlocked? Ah, uh, well, yeah. Ah, uh, Capel mentioned one of the it's one next in one of the ruins. My friend couldn't hear them properly. Okay. Uh, have you seen those stone stairways to heaven? I think you might even be able to see the house that you're looking for in Avion's window. But more importantly, it should be unlocked. People around here always keep the doors unlocked because, uh, yeah, yeah, no, of course they don't. Because of the the shop knock a deer, why not? Ah uh, well, let's uh let's check that out because that was the last um big hint as to like what I might want to do from this point, aside from waiting around for Ruben that I found in the game, at least for right now. Like I said, I've also just kind of wandered around the town trying to figure out what's up with what, but. I, um, it's, <laughs> this game is inscrutable in many ways. I expect you to play through it many times, too. And I'm getting there, but it does take a while. Anyway, a town that can be seen from Ava's house, uh, and it's one of the many ruins. So basically this right here, or this, I suppose. Probably more likely this one. And then from it, one of the houses you can see. So one of these, basically. Somewhere around in this general area. Okay, let's go check it out. Ah, oh, man. This is... Yeah, here's the point where I do start to find it a lot. Where I start to have less of an idea of what to do. And I don't think I can actually go down this way. <laughs> let's try that again. Hmm, let's see. Can you put markers on the map? Not that I know of. I mean, I guess I haven't really tried to, but I've also played the game enough that I at least have a basic idea of how the uh, map is laid out. So it doesn't really make too much of a uh, of a difference as of right now. Now, either way, it's like this is this is the last big lead I have, and basically after this point, I'm going to die. <laughs> I guess. Like, I got an idea of what I want to do, but we'll see exactly how successful that is. Um, let's see. Right down here, yeah. One of the many ruined stairways to heaven, which is quite a way to put that. But, I mean, I guess what else are you going to be doing right now? Uh, I technically have a book by a side that I'm reading. I only know it's because it was super boring because I was missing the stream. Oh, come on. Uh, we can move on to a little Castlevania if you want to. I mean, for right now, what I'll do is I will save the game and we will do that. But it's like legitimately, I do really, really like this game and I'm super invested in it. But, I, you know, I kind of knew that it's like more most other people probably wouldn't. That said... Before we go, no, <laughs> I'm not going to kill anybody. That said, before I go, um, I, this is kind of an amusing thing. Remember how we were talking about dog-headed guys before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 